Greetings all, and I know, I know it's it's been a while, and and at some point soon I'll be able to to throw more content onto this channel, including all the videos I've been wanting to do reviews of, and uh, and and stuff like that. So uh, I, I'm going to do the the NFL preview of this week, and we still don't know whether or not Patrick Mahomes is playing, and I. I had heard he was ruled out, and I'm, I'm looking through, and it's like, well, he hasn't officially been ruled out. He might be. And Kansas City is only a two-and-a-half-point favorite that I could see in the lines I looked at. Uh, much like the other game, it's a four-point or three-and-a-half-point favorite situation. So these games are considered close. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills are making believers to the point where I'll take the upset. I'll take the upset. This one starts. It's the second game of the day. It's at 3:40 p.m. Pacific, uh, and I'll, I'll I'll take the upset in that one. Uh, and and it's going to be an interesting um, matchup indeed because you have the the Buffalo Bills who've been just fantastic, Kansas City who've been very good. They have a very good record, but I I just get the feeling that Buffalo's playing the better football. And and with Mahomes now the concussion protocol and even though he's symptom free. There's some some concern about whether or not he's going to play. Um, I, I don't know. I think this is the opening for the Buffalo Bills to return to a Super Bowl, which, if you're a Bills fan, is both you know fantastic and terrifying at the same time. The terrifying part being, oh, right, the Super Bowl, where we lose. And it's often humiliating. So for Buffalo, and I, I don't have a jersey for any of these four teams, so I thought, well, I'll just throw on my Boston Red Sox Mookie Betts jersey, because why not? Um, but yeah, so with with Allen as as definitely being the quarterback for Buffalo and Mahomes being a maybe, and I've got the Kansas City hat on because why not? Um, we'll see what happens. That's going to be a, a really good game though. And then Tampa Bay and Green Bay, it's the Battle of the Bays. This is the one I was hoping for all season. Whenever I talked about the NFC, I was like, I hope it's the Battle of the Bays. And it is. This is a game where, as I said, Green Bay is seen as a three and a half or a four point favorite. Yeah, I'll take the upset. I, I know, I know. The odds of both Tampa Bay and Buffalo winning are, are slim. There's just something with Tom Brady this year. And, you know, seeing the video of, of Brady after after that game against New Orleans, seeing him with Drew Brees and and tossing the football to Brees' kid, and just just how, how casual he is and how, I don't know, there's just something with Tom Brady this year. And we'll see how far this can go. This one starts at 12.05 p.m. Pacific, which is 3.05 p.m. Eastern. And I don't know. There's just something about Brady. And then there's there's something that I didn't know. And I, I had assumed this had happened at least once. But apparently it hasn't. If Tampa Bay beats Green Bay, they will be the first team to play at home in the Super Bowl. Uh, the Super Bowl, of course, moves around. It's a third third party location. It's only third party if your team can't make the Super Bowl, and none of them ever have. So, Tampa Bay could make history, and I figure, you know what? Sure, why not? This was kind of a great season. Why not have Tampa Bay playing at home with a chance to potentially win a Super Bowl? Now, I'm not taking anything away from Aaron Rodgers here. There's a reason that Green Bay are the favorites. But the, the question marks with Green Bay during the season were some of the same question marks that were had of Pittsburgh. How good are they really? So we'll see whether or not Green Bay can beat Tampa. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad to see that four teams that are the last ones standing are ones that were right near or at the top of my power rankings during the, the season when it came to its end. So that's kind of fun where I'm like, hey, look, the power rankings came through. Uh, they do tend to do that with football better than with hockey. So um, I, I, I realize that Green Bay are going to be the favorites. I would be in the minority picking Tampa Bay. And this game could be one that we see 60 points. So you might want to take the over on the points. Uh, with Buffalo and KC, you might want to take the under. But we'll see what happens. Um, while I expect this one to be more defensive and, and lower scoring, Allen and Mahomes are both capable of putting up a ton of points in a, in a big game. So uh, four of the best quarterbacks are the four that remain. And you've got two guys here who could probably be the dads for the two over here, right? But hey, uh, that's going to make things interesting. Uh, and of course, another football news today, uh, Philip Rivers has retired. Um, Philip Rivers is honestly a quarterback that I watched him for years with the Chargers. 
And I always thought it was too bad that he wasn't playing on a on a better team, that he wasn't playing on a team that could win a championship. And so the fact that he has retired after what was a pretty good year for him with Indy, um, it, it's 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 a shame. Um, I I I think that uh, Rivers picked the right time to go. You want to go on your own. You don't want uh, the the media to tell you it's time to go. You don't want the team sitting you down and going, you really need to retire. So it's the right time for him to go. Um, but it, it is, it is too bad because he never won a championship and he played for the Chargers. So of course he didn't win a championship. Chargers don't win championships. That's not how that works. So, uh, I, I feel bad for him and yet he made a ton of money. I'm sure he had a lot of fun and, uh, there were some great memories to be had, uh, for Chargers fans along the way. So to me, he'll always be a Charger and, uh, I, I wish him all the best in, in retirement. And of course there's, coaching and management changes going on all over the NFL as there is every year and this is to you know provide some hope and fingers crossed that things go well for the teams that have made the changes that they have especially the Jets the Jets it was a miserable season next year has to be better right this is where people say well no they're the Jets it, it can always get worse and I don't have an answer for that other than yeah and yeah, that, that 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 does sound about right but there you go. So let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to win these amazing games. These I, I honestly think these are the best uh, AFC and NFC championship games we could have asked for this year. The best storylines. And it should be great. And the ratings should be fantastic. I would be very surprised if these games don't rate really, really highly. So while my main focus is obviously on the Hockey Channel now that Hockey's back and it's the view counts on the Hockey Channel are the highest they've ever been right now, which is why I haven't been doing the videos over here as much. Because when the view counts are the highest they've ever been, it's important to make sure that you're making the content while those the, the interest is that high, and then you're generating your sub counts. But uh, I, I have been paying attention to the football. I have. Uh, it's just been a matter of, you know, the videos obviously on this channel generate lower view counts, so that's just that's just the way of it right now. But uh, I, I will get back to doing uh, the, the reviews and things of that nature, especially once these games are over, meaning we've got the two weeks until the Super Bowl. I'm kind of surprised they kept the, the, the bye week until the Super Bowl, but, you know, whatever. I, I, I'm, I figured that with, with the, the fact that there aren't going to be fans in attendance like we normally would have, that maybe they, they just have the one week. I know there have been years where they haven't had the bye week before the Super Bowl, and to me it's created better games, but that's me. Uh, but hey, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always regarding these games, regarding Rivers, and other things going on around the NFL. And I'm well aware that the Jays have got a free agent signing last night that's got Jays fans all excited. I'm not as excited as other Jays fans just because in the back of my mind I'm thinking, okay, so they picked up a reliever who may or may not help um, fix that problem, but I'm still not convinced about the pitching. So this this is the thing. I, I, liked, I liked the positional players for the Jays the whole way through. I'm really glad they picked up a new player that is, you know, there was, was the biggest free agent name out there, and after striking out on a bunch of other free agents, they get the guy they were really after at the heart of it. But there's still that part of me going, okay, when the Jets are good at hitting, or Jets, when the, when the Blue Jays are good at hitting, that means their pitching falls apart. When they're good at pitching, their hitting falls apart. So while there's other teams in the division that have fallen off and and should continue to, or, or you know, in Tampa Bay's case, uh, they, they may fall off due to the players that they've lost in the offseason. I'm still wondering how, how the Jays possibly screw this up. I've just had decades of watching them just managed to screw it up let me know your thoughts though all together uh, in the comment section below and uh hey if you haven't already hit like and subscribe do so the channel's close to 16,000 subscribers which is is a nice tidy number uh i'm very proud of that as well and hey i appreciate all your support along the way i will talk to you again soon